Hey, this is John Carlos, and I am here with a look at the Star Wars Black Series action figure of the client from The Mandalorian. It was already a glorious thing that The Mandalorian cast Werner Herzog in it. It just filled my little cinephile's heart full of delight to see him on screen in Star Wars of all things. But it is another thing to have a Werner Herzog action figure. Think about that. Just say that sentence out loud. Of Werner Herzog action figure. What a glorious age we live in. And they did a pretty good job with the head. I see the likeness, especially in the eyes. I do feel like I'm looking at this through a filter though, where everything's been softened. The whole sculpt feels like it's not as sharp as it could be. But despite that, the general shape and especially the eyes and the mouth, I think they did a pretty good job. Um, the, the bald spot in his head is just a big blunt paint line. That could have been a little bit better. But you know, it's a Hasbro like $22 action figure. What do you want? And I, I gotta say, it's pretty good. Also, the, uh, the necklace here, the loose necklace, I mean, when it came out of the packaging, it was a little askew, but it lines up perfectly around the collar. So that's great. Other nice details about this figure include the, the surface texture of his shirt, the texture of his coat, and the little kind of furry collar. I like the way the coat flows. It looks awesome. Uh, he has a very simple outfit, but it is very well done. Uh, he comes with a few accessories, like this tiny little tracking fob. Uh, very well done, very simply painted, but it looks, you know, perfect. It also comes with uh, the little bits of uh, Beskar. You can see the little lines about how they'd be stacked and a little tiny Imperial uh, mark on them and a little swirl of metal in there. Some nice detail as far as that. Those can fit in this, the little ice cream maker, which uh, does open up. There is no actual hinge. It's just like a little flap of, of, of I think, vinyl. I don't think this is plastic. Um, but yeah, it looks good as far as like the little details on the, uh, the paint on the inside of it. The surface has some nice little sculpted elements to the little, uh, little buttons or the lights on the top there that aren't painted, but oh well. But anyway, you could, if you wanted to, place the Beskar inside and close it up. Once it's closed up, the ice cream maker does fit very nicely into the figure's left hand. One thing that does annoy me is that this figure's right hand is a trigger finger hand for gripping a gun, but he does not come with a gun. Hasbro's been doing this for years, and I don't understand why they keep doing it. Like, invest the money in making just a standard grip hand or relaxed palm hand that isn't trigger finger, and then reuse that hand over and over. Stop reusing these hands over and over. Uh, it's slightly annoying, but uh, despite that though, because uh, that annoyance isn't enough to derail the fact that this is a Werner Herzog action figure. Isn't that great? And also a pretty major character if you're hip to the Mandalorian and you want great characters from season one. I mean, if you're getting Grogu and if you're you know getting the Mandalorian, why wouldn't you at least consider getting the client? It's a good looking figure. I really dig it. They did a good job with this costume. There you go. That's my review. They did a good job with this costume. Thanks for watching, everybody. And let me know in the comments below what you think of this figure. And if you want to be up to date with all my latest reviews, be sure to click subscribe.